Happy Saturday, my fellow creator friends. I have another haul for you today. It's actually from Goodwill, and it's from last half off sale, which I think was like the end of July. Uh, today's actually half off at Goodwill, and I was going to get in the car this morning. It was beautiful, and go out there and find me some stuff. And then I realized I didn't even show you guys what I got from the last one. Um, and my craft room needed some serious, serious work. So, I was like, I'm just going to clear off my desk, mess with the camera that's been needing to be done, the camera arrangement. And I'll show you the few little things that I got. And um, I think I might have another haul in a bag over there. So, I might throw that one at the end. So, um... Here we go. Okay, I got some scrapbook stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I really am into a lot of the craft, the scrapbook stuff, like in the marketplace. They'll be labeled as scrapbook stuff, and you would think you're not doing scrapbooks, but it's a lot of things that you could incorporate into junk journals. Uh, a lot of things that you could just maybe throw some tea dye on and change the whole look of it. Uh, I can't wait to use this one. It's called Shadowy Rose. 12 by 12 assortment pack. And again, it was $1.49 and I only paid half off for it. So let's, uh, let's see what, how do you get into this thing? <laughs> oh, let's see what's in here. I mean, the paper, just the ones I could see. Um, I was really, really, really enjoying it. And it says it was $5 at Big Lots. I've never seen stuff like this at Big Lots. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Okay. Wow, look at the... It's like... It's got a little burlap-y print. Oh, this is going to be fun. I've wanted... I've actually... This is actually perfect. Because I've, I've been looking into doing a, a steambunk journal. But I don't want to do the... Um, I guess typical gray, um, browns, reds, tans kind of color scheme. I wanted to do more like muted grays and black and white. So this might actually be perfect. This might be some great inspiration to get that done. I have a new camera set up, so I don't know yet if you are too far away. Um, but I noticed I was having a lot of trouble with that. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Some black and pearl. Oh, looks like little clip-on buttons. Hmm, I've never seen these. They're like, um, clip-on earrings. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Uh, looks like some edging to match the paper. Um, some little sayings which absolutely have nothing to do with this color scheme. I love pretty things. <laughs> and some alpha stickers, which is always awesome. Uh, I got some stencils for, uh, marked for $1.49. It looks like they were used already. Uh, oh, it's just the one stencil. So I got that half off. Another one of these three ring binder sets, except they look like frames. Originally $8.75, I got it for a dollar. Huh. Oh, this is like um plastic. It looks like you... T oh, I know. Okay, so you'll take the film off. And then put your picture in and maybe glue it to the cover. Oh, how fun. Okay, okay, okay. And it shows you all the sizes. And some more of the, the little binder rings. A scrapbooking techniques and ideas book. It's definitely, like I said, it's not something I would gravitate to, the colors. Uh, but you know, a little tea dye goes a long way. So let's see what we got. Looks like glue dots, a bunch of scrapbooking words and phrases. Oh, look, okay, okay, so it's just like set up some paper. 
Very fun. Oh, look at the tag. Now, this would be really cool with some uh, tea dye on it to, you know, knock back the brightness a little bit. Very fun. Oh, I like those colors. Okay, very cool. Uh, it looks like that was $1.49 and again, half off. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I don't have my tables on either side yet. I moved my whole camera set up, my whole desk. I turned it the other way. Yeah, it's been a morning. <laughs> okay, I uh, got some fabric. Uh, this was half off. This was $1.99 and it's just a huge tablecloth uh, cotton that's gonna be beautiful for fall uh, uh, I want to say I already hauled this once so I might even have one of these somewhere but this is a pillowcase a big one so once you cut this up you'll have all this for you know like uh, the spine of journals throwing a little bit peeking out either end that'll be great fabric for that and then of course you have the crocheted doily fabric here so that's going to be fun that'll make a lot of covers and i got three of these curtains and i'm going to show you why i have no idea if these are too big to go on the front of a journal but oh my goodness oh my goodness look at the window look at the window Okay, isn't that cool? So you get three windows, I believe. Yeah, three three of them. And it's really the rest of the fabric's really really sheer. Uh, and each of them were dollar ninety nine, so half off, so a dollar each. And I got three of them. Uh, I'm trying to save the the best for last. I'm super excited. Uh, Nature's Flora Tapestry. Kimberly Polson five clear stamps. I uh, got that for dollar forty nine and half off. Oh here, yeah, I'll just show you. That's what they look like. Uh, I got some bias tape. Usually I don't ever pay more than 50, 50 cents for it, and that's a good price because I have quite a bit of it. Uh, even now I don't even stop buying it because I have so much but white is really hard to find so I'm really loving that because I can dye that any color I need it to be and it was only 50 cents not too bad uh, 99 cents half off I guess for the flashcards Milton Bradley flashcards oh I think I have these I think I have another set of these I actually do because I looked at them today I was looking for anything with a B on it so these are fun yes I definitely hold these before that is really cool that I got another set very fun okay I got this for 50 cents it looks like it was $11.99 originally and it's just really thick thick ribbon like very structured of course we know you know it has the wire in it but you can remove the wire but I thought if I removed the wire that it would be really pretty on the spine of a book you know it's a great great length or width I'm sorry width um, yeah right at two and a half inches so that's cool and this looks to be brand new Full, I mean, should say, not brand new. <laughs> it looks pretty old, but it's it's full. Okay, and last but not least, now that I'm digging in it, oh my gosh, you guys! Now that I'm digging into it, what I got last month? No, I'm wanting to go. <laughs> no, I want to go. What time? It's not six o'clock. What time is it? It's six o'clock at night. Okay, well, that scratches that. Wait, where did the day go? <laughs> huh, okay. Anyway.
anyway, here's my awesome find. This is a three inch circle punch from Recollections. $5, so I only paid $2.50 for it, but it's huge. Oh, everything is so messed up. Where's everything? Oh, come on. What in the world? How are you going to steal this? Why would they need to do all that? You guys, wait to see how big this punch is. And then we got two stamps for $2.99, so $1.50 each. Two stamp punches. Well, I can't get the sticker off that one, but you can see here. I mean, this is exactly like a stamp. That's going to be so fun. Now, I would like to ask you guys now uh, about used used punches do you guys buy used punches do you sharpen used punches can you sharpen used punches and if so how do you because i would really like to know because i have went through i don't know 10 used corner punches like when are you going to realize that they don't work stop buying <laughs> but i keep buying them uh hoping that one day i'll get a good one and they don't suck they're not horrible but they're not great uh, I keep wanting to buy the, the, I think it's Recollections as well, Corner Punch. The one, that's the same as the Chop one. Yeah, I want that one. <laughs> one day. Okay, guys, I'm going to go see if I have another haul, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I went and looked, and uh, it doesn't look like I have one. I think I might have already done that one, so I'm not going to take a chance. I really need to put my stuff away. Okay, uh, so thank you for joining me on this little haul, and uh, you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye, guys.